Hey guys, welcome to my get it all done. Today's video is jam packed with not only cleaning motivation, but also a huge Sam's Club haul that I will be sharing with y'all. We got a new blow up slide that the kids were super excited about that I'm going to be setting up. We're going to be doing laundry, cleaning, organizing my pantry, decluttering it, and so much if this is your first time watching, welcome. My name is Ashley. I'm a stay at home mom to four and on my channel, I love sharing your realistic everyday messes, plus tons of decluttering, organizing, laundry, you name it. So if you enjoy cleaning content with a realistic mama, I hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would do a get it all done because I have not done one in quite some time on my cleaning channel. So I am making the kids some pancakes for breakfast and then we're gonna be heading out to the gym. Then we have to go to Sam's Club to get some food because we just got back from the Kalahari Resort and we have no food in the house so we gotta stop by, get some snacks, some foods for the kids, and then we're gonna come home and we got to unpack, get laundry going, get some cleaning done, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get the day started. But first, I'm gonna share with you guys my homemade coffee creamer that I'm trying out using date I'm gonna share it with you guys. So what I'm gonna be using is some half and half, a little bit of heavy whipping cream just to make it a little bit more creamier some date syrup and some vanilla extract to give it a little vanilla taste. Switch to date syrup because it's less processed. It's just dates, that's the only ingredient. And it's low GIs, so you don't get a spike in sugar. I've been drinking this coffee creamer for about a week now and the flavor is definitely growing on me. It tastes less sweet than using my stevia drops, but I really love the taste of this. If you try out this creamer by itself before you add it to your coffee, it almost reminds me of like a maple donut flavor. It is really, really good. It's just a very subtle sweetness, but definitely give it a try if you guys are looking for something all natural and you don't mind having a little bit of sugar. I'm actually slowly trying to transition to no added sugar to my coffee. Just finished up at the gym. Now we are outside of Sam's Club. We're gonna run in, go get those snacks, and then I will share that haul with you guys whenever we get back home. I plan on sharing the full shop with me on my vlogging channel, so make sure you guys check that out if you enjoy shop with me's and grocery hauls because I have tons of those videos on my vlogging channel, but I'm just going to share a few little clips from inside the store. Outside, we're ready to get home, and then I will share with you guys our grocery haul. Just got back from Sam's Club. I'm gonna go over everything that we picked up and the grand total. So, we're gonna start over here. We got, of course, our Red Baron pizza. We always pick these up as a quick and easy go to meal. So, we got pepperoni and then cheese. The kids are almost out of their cheese sticks, so we got some mozzarella cheese sticks. This is something we don't typically get, but since it's summertime and this is like a quick and easy lunch they can put into the microwave, I got some ham and cheddar Hot Pockets. We also picked up some of these Z-Bars. The kids really like these. The only one they're not a huge fan of is the chocolate brownie, but they do still eat them. And then I got a six pack of the green bell peppers. I figure we can do some fajitas or put them in our eggs for breakfast. We picked up a two pack of the honey wheat bread for sandwiches. I got me some 93% lean ground turkey. My husband doesn't like turkey, but the kids and I do. So I got two pack of that. We picked up some clothes that just looked really cute. I got eighth in these little Hurley shorts. I got me these Gap shorts. They feel so like comfy, perfect for around the house, but still like, you know, put together. And then Adrienne picked out some t-shirts. She still needs some more shirts. When we went shopping, she just didn't find tons that she loved. 
So she picked this pack out. It comes with three. And then she also picked out this one. So cute. Love those. And then I got a five pound pack of sweet potatoes. I plan on cooking this as like one of my main carb sources this week. I got a big thing of paper of paper plates. We have recently been using paper plates just because during the summertime, the kids are always snacking and stuff and we run out of dishes. So I got paper plates for that. I got some Hawaiian rolls. We have been making smash burgers, which is basically you just take the ground beef and you make the patties super thin. You put cheese on it and put it on a Hawaiian roll. And you guys, they are seriously so good. And then we picked up our go-to yogurt, the Oikos Triple Zero. I love this stuff. We got some strawberries. They just looked so delicious. And what I've been doing for my fruit is I've been rinsing it in water with baking soda and I let it soak for a little bit. I picked up some pasture raised eggs. The kids love these little Belvita snacks and it comes with the three different flavors. So we got those. Adrian begged for another thing of mangoes. It's like eight something and you get all of these mangoes. So it's a really good deal. So we got tons of mangoes we're gonna be snacking on this week. I also got this three pack of organic grass-fed ground beef. It's 85% lean. The kids love applesauce. So we got this big thing of applesauce. They also picked out Nutri-Grain bars this week. This is something new we haven't seen before. It's called Wiggles Fruit Juice Gels. It's basically like a jello, but they don't have any artificial colors in here. So I really liked that. It does still have carrageenan, which I wish wasn't in there, but the kids really wanted to try it, so we're gonna give that a try. I also got a really big thing of carrots. We like to cut those up and snack on them or use them for meals. I also got my favorite Baby Bella mushrooms. I love putting those in my eggs or stuffing them and having them as a side with dinner. The kids also picked out the Go Go Squeeze yogurts. They love those. Of course, had to get some more of my Kerrygold butter. It's my favorite. I got some wild caught Gulf shrimp. I always buy wild caught, it's just so much better for you. It has so many more vitamins and minerals and everything, so always go for wild caught if you can. I got the wild caught Atlantic cod as well. I haven't had cod in a long time, so I thought that sounded pretty good. I also got the carb counter tortillas, a big thing of whole cashews. I love cashews, so had to pick some of those up. We also ran out of maple syrup, so we got our maple syrup, and I told the kids they could pick out one junkier snack, so they got these Dunkaroos. Our cups have been breaking, so I got this pack. It comes with eight of the smaller ones. It says it's shatterproof, so we'll see. We're gonna put it to the test. And then we got a big thing of paper towels. We are just about out. And then we got the kids some sparkling ice drinks. They love those. We got spring water this time. I think we're gonna switch to spring water. And then we're also gonna be trying these out for the first time. It is the Sam's Club brand chips. So that is everything that I picked up. The grand total was $480. And I also got two bags of salt for our water softener. Now it's time to put all the groceries away. And this is honestly the thing that I really dread doing because it takes so long. Don't get me wrong. When I get done, it's so satisfying to sit back and just see everything organized and put away. But the process of doing it, oh my goodness, it's, <laughs> it's very overwhelming and daunting, but it is worth the time and effort to organize your food and just make sure everything has a place. So for me, I ordered some of these clear containers off of Amazon, and then I have some other ones that I got from Sam's Club. I love both of them. I'm actually ordering some more stuff for my freezer because I desperately need to organize my freezer. So make sure you guys have that bell on. I plan on doing that video very soon. I'm waiting for those organizers to come in and then I will be filming that, which I'm so excited about. I plan on doing inside the house, the freezer and our deep freezer outside. So 
it should be pretty motivating. I will try to link all the containers that I'm currently using in case you guys are interested in looking at those. They were pretty affordable compared to like some of the clear containers because they can get pretty pricey. So I always try to look for a good bargain. You guys look how bare the pantry is. I need to uh, vacuum up the little pieces from the onions and we're going to get this cleaned up. I was debating on pulling off the stuff on the shelf and giving it a good wipe down, but honestly, I was like, you know what? I already have so much stuff that I need to put away. I just wanted to get it done, so I just vacuumed it up. That way there wasn't, you know, like food crumbs and stuff everywhere. And then we're gonna be putting everything into the pantry as neatly as I can. This pantry is a little tight for us. I feel like we run out of space, so I'm really trying to not overbuy when I go to Sam's Club, which is definitely harder during the summer months because the kids are with me and they always want to add on extra stuff, especially if I'm inside the store and they're with me. So I, I usually try to do curbside pickups, but every once in a while I'll go into the store, especially if I want to film a like shop with me or something, you know, I'll go in there, but I try to stay out. It definitely helps whenever you're on a budget to shop online and do curbside pickups whenever you can. Since I knew I was going to have the container of water, plus I had some other things down at the bottom of the pantry, I wanted to get rid of the box that had the Mighty Dog Food, I think is what it's called. So I went ahead, pulled everything out of the box, stuck it in the little basket. That basket in the pantry has all of the dog's treats, bones, dog food, cat food, all of that. So I tried to stuff it all into that basket to fit as neatly as I possibly can. But now that the pantry is a bit more organized, we can start filling all of my containers with the kids' snacks. And I tried really hard to make this aesthetically pleasing looking. I really wanted it to be super cute, but y'all, there was way too many applesauces and I knew that I needed to fit them all onto this little swivel thing. So I tried to make it pretty, but they ended up all falling down. So <laughs> it's just real life. I was like, you know what? We're just gonna shove them on there and call it a day. I am really trying to switch the kids over to a bit healthier snacks. I feel like most snacks that come in a package are not that great quality to begin with. So I'm trying to slowly switch over to a bit healthier. And then I honestly want to start trying to make some homemade snack items, especially during the summertime because they're constantly asking for food. And I just don't like them eating that many snacks. For one, it's so expensive. And for two, I don't want wrappers everywhere and it's just not good for them. So I've actually been checking on Pinterest and just getting fun snack ideas. I do plan on creating a video about just like some fun snacks that the kids like. So I plan on uploading that on my vlogging channel, but I really am trying to just switch over to more all natural foods, not only for myself, but also for the kids and just find things that are quick and easy where I could bake it and then just have them ready to go. And I'm all about helping others figure out quick and easy meals and fun snack ideas that are kid approved. So I will definitely share what snacks the kids end up really loving and stuff that's just kind of simple to make and store. Going all to different places, different planets.
felt your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like the drive, get down and dirty. You act like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel it. It is so nice to see the pantry nice and restocked and organized again. It has been so hot, so I promised the kids that we would get a big blow up water slide. It just came in last night, so we're gonna go ahead, set this up for the kids to play on so I can get this house cleaned up because y'all, my house is so messy, so let's yes. tackle it. And not gonna lie, I was really nervous about setting this up. I was hoping I was gonna be able to do it by myself. Thankfully, this was awesome. I ordered it from Sam's Club and it was so easy to put up and the kids absolutely loved it. All right, moment of truth. I got everything set up, hopefully right. We're gonna turn on the water now. <laughs> oh! Oh! No, clear, so sick. <laughs> Is it cold? <clears throat> it's not wet enough. It is now the next day. Yesterday was crazy after Sam's Club. I went upstairs and discovered that our AC unit stopped working. And then it randomly started working again. Thank goodness by the evening I had to cut the grass. My battery was overheating. We have an electric lawnmower and it's so hot outside that it just, it couldn't run. So I had to bring the batteries inside, let them cool down overnight. This morning I finished cutting the grass after I set up the bounce house for the kids went and cleaned myself up and now I'm finally ready to get started on all of this laundry and get some cleaning done because my house looks so bad. I really wanna just clean the downstairs, mop the floors, and just do a really good reset in here. So let's go ahead and get it all done. The house was really starting to bug me. I was so ready to tackle the mess and get it done. So first off, I'm going through all of the luggage, getting out the dirty clothes, and then putting the luggage back where it belongs. Now that all of the laundry is gathered, I can start tackling some of this. So I wanted to get it going. And just an update, I am still using the Molly Suds laundry detergent. You guys know I'm switching to all natural cleaners. And I love the way that this stuff cleans. I feel like it does get all of the like funky smells and the dirt out of the clothes. Our clothes have been really clean. And like y'all have suggested, I started adding the essential oils onto my dryer balls. I was trying to put it in the uh, like softener spot. I put vinegar for a softener which works great but I was trying to add essential oil in there and I just had a few people say like it probably isn't that good for my washer to do that so I just started adding it onto the dryer balls 
and I do feel like it does leave a little scent behind. I'm using orange right now. I think I'm going to go back to the stores and see if I can find like, I don't know, something that be might be a little bit stronger for the laundry. If y'all have any recommendations for what essential oil I should use on my dryer balls, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys are using and what you're loving. But as for the laundry detergent, I am really enjoying the Molly Suds and I'm currently using the citrus scent. By this time, the kids were ready for a break off of the water slide. They wanted to come in, of course, eat because they were hungry. And we were waiting for the sun to kind of hit more in our backyard. Usually during the morning hours, it's shaded back there. And then, you know, a little bit later in the afternoon, it starts fully getting covered by the sun so the water could heat up and it would be a little bit warmer. And that's usually when it's scorching hot outside in the backyard because it's been like 110 to 115 for the last few weeks. It has been brutal. It has finally cooled down just a little bit. Uh, starting yesterday, the highs were like 95, which feels so good <laughs> compared to the weather we were having. It feels so much better. So I'm hoping it stays in the 90s. I can deal with the 90s, but 110 is no joke. Like you don't want to go outside. You don't want to do anything. After I got done doing some of the hand washing, I started having Austin pick up the clean dishes and then Adrian will be loading up the dishwasher. After I get done cleaning up in here, I just wanted to clear away the clutter off of the counters. And then I also wanted to do the hand washing because Adrian doesn't do that. She just loads the dishwasher. So I had full intentions of spray painting these chairs for the get it all done for this video. I really wanted to do that, but because we had the water slide up, I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to wait because <laughs> I usually just spray them in the backyard, but I am so tired of putting off this project. I've got to get this done. I also have the laundry room makeover. Like I bought the paint and the wallpaper months ago. I just have not gotten around to it. I feel like life has been so busy, which is great. It's been so much fun. Like I said, we just got back from a family vacation, so it's been really awesome, but I have so many little projects that I want to do and I just haven't gotten around to it. By this time, the laundry was ready to be switched over, so I switched it over. I'm also hanging up some items that I just didn't want to shrink in the dryer. I typically throw everything into the dryer, but we did recently go summer shopping, and there are a few pieces that me and Aubrey picked out that I know if I put it in the dryer, it would completely shrink. It's that like knitted material, so went ahead, pulled those out, and hung dry those. Now it's time to start tackling all the clutter that was on the floors and getting the floors cleaned up. One of the main things I wanted to do was mop because my floors desperately needed to be mopped. So we're gonna pick up all the clutter, I'm gonna vacuum, and then we're gonna get to mopping. That way it just feels like a new start downstairs, fresh and clean. Girl, 
I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. So I thought I would update you guys on how I'm feeling about my Dyson vacuum. I have had a few people ask me like what do I think about it now that I've had it for quite a few months. If you guys are new here, my husband bought me the Dyson cordless vacuum for a Christmas gift. I have been wanting a cordless vacuum for a while and I was really on the fence of what brand I should get. I'm a die hard shark fan. I love my shark corded vacuums. The suction is just amazing. So I was really torn between getting a shark or getting a Dyson, but after tons of consideration, I decided to go with the Dyson and I love this vacuum. Not only is it really convenient, which is probably the number one reason why I haven't brought out my shark vacuum because it's just so nice to take it off of the charger and start cleaning whatever I need to clean. I don't have to worry about finding an outlet and dragging out the cord and picking it up. So for one, the convenience makes it so worth it. And for two, I find that the suction is really good for hard floors, especially like it picks up so much. Mine comes with the hard floor attachment. I've heard that not all the models come with the hard floor attachment. So I would recommend if you're looking at the Dyson, make sure you get the hard floor attachment. Mine has like a little light and you seriously see every crumb on the floor. I love it. And then for carpets, I find that the suction is really, really good as well. The only thing that I'm not really impressed with is when you use the handheld suction, don't get me wrong, it works good, but like if you wanted to go vacuum your car, it's not so good. I feel like that's when you really realize that it doesn't have the suction like a corded vacuum. But other than that, I absolutely love it and I think it's so worth the money. It's just so convenient. But as you guys saw, I just got done cleaning the dining room table and I wanted to take a moment to mention the new wood cleaner that I've been using. It's by Aunt Fanny. I ordered it off of Amazon and the scent is lemon and you guys, I love this stuff. It smells so good. I even checked the EWG rating on it. It's rated an A. So it's a great all natural cleaner. And I'm happy to report that it smells so good. It smells so strong. I love it. So I think I'm going to be sticking with Aunt Fanny for my wood cleaner. If you guys haven't tried it out, definitely check it out. I'll be sure to link it for you guys. Now that the floors are all vacuumed, it's finally time to start mopping. It is desperately needed, so I'm going to be using the Dr. Bronner's cast style soap in the lavender scent. And you guys, I love the cast style soap. It makes the entire house smell so good when I get done mopping, so I still get the really nice scent that lingers in the house but it's all natural and I don't have to worry about, you know, my animals or anything. So definitely recommend giving the cast style soap a try whenever you mop the floors. And I just make sure my water is super, super hot. I know some people boil their water, but I just make sure mine is really hot to help kill some of the germs. I think it is so funny how every time I start mopping, the kids all of a sudden need to get up and go somewhere right over wherever I'm mopping. <laughs> like it never fails. They just love stepping in the wet, freshly cleaned floors and spreading their little footprints.
I love this dining room area view like these colors just make me so happy something about the like off-white and that seafoam green ugh, I love it so much I've really been thinking about painting our master bathroom in that color if you guys see our off like my office area where I have my workout equipment and stuff we already have a wall that color in there but I just love that color so much so I don't know I've been kind of thinking about doing some painting projects let me know if you guys like seeing like a painting video or do you not really enjoy that I know it's kind of boring like I always feel like it's too repetitive to sit there and watch someone paint an area but let me know what you guys think the kids have been watching this new show on Netflix called is it cake it's a really cute show they've been obsessed Ooh, you guys I worked up a sweat <laughs> mopping the floors but it feels so good the downstairs looks so much better I'm gonna tackle some of this laundry get it folded and then I'm finally gonna relax for the day the kids played on the water slide for a couple hours and then they came in because they were getting a little chilly now the Sun is like full blazing in the backyard so I'm sure the water is gonna warm up for them they're gonna enjoy it for a few more hours and then I'm probably gonna pick it up because I don't know if our sprinkler system will like because it comes on um, pretty early morning hours and I was gonna leave it up for about two days and then pick it up but I was like man if the sprinklers come on I don't want it to like pop a hole in the bottom of it or something so I'm just gonna pick it up so I told them they can play on it a few more hours later in the evening and then we'll go ahead dry it up put it away hopefully it's gonna be easy to fold back up should be interesting but let's go get some laundry folded real quick then wants to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times but now somehow i'll give you my attention you've got to know that i i ain't a person who understands just looking at this area makes me feel overwhelmed <laughs> like it's just so much laundry but i am happy to say that i got through all the laundry by the next day like i was on a mission to tackle it all so i did get it all done even though i'm only going to share one load of laundry that i'm folding because that's super repetitive i love sharing like full laundry days but i figured in today's video i'm just going to share one load and after this load i actually have aubrey start pitching in because that is my oldest daughter's chore is to fold at least one load of laundry and actually now that it's summertime i'm also adding on her cooking because i feel like i've really been slacking on teaching her how to cook like a lot of different things so that is on my to-do list this summer is to teach her how to cook and just have her feel a bit more confident in the kitchen i'd love to hear when did you have your kids start cooking um or when did you start cooking for me i really didn't cook that much until like late late high school like i i barely cooked anything it was like ramen noodles cinnamon rolls uh, scrambled eggs <laughs> that was really it so I just want to make sure Aubrey is prepared whenever it's time for her to venture off on her own that she knows how to cook up a good meal for herself We are now at the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to stick around. I upload new videos every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Making some grilled cheese, tomato soup and salad for dinner for the kiddos.